2018, 2018, 2018, every year at the beginning of the year, people always say, new year, new me, new year, new me, new year, new me. I can't be mad at them. I can't be mad at anyone who says new year, new me. I mean, you can do that every week. Oh, new week, new me, new month, new me. I can't be mad at you for wanting to uh, improve yourself, transform yourself. I want you to be mad at yourself for not having a plan. I want you to be mad at yourself for not being consistent, for not following through. But I don't want you to be mad at yourself forever. I want you to be mad for about four or five seconds. And then I want you to go ahead and take that anger, because anger is good if you use it in the right way. I want you to take that anger, I want you to take that festivity that you just had at yourself because you didn't follow through for yet another year. And I want you to transition that into action. First, I want you to make your plan. I want you to make three different goals, at least three goals. Now you can have more, it's up to you to determine your life. But there's at least three goals that I want you to make. I want you to make a spiritual goal and you define what that means, right? If you believe in God, maybe you need to tighten your relationship with God. If you believe in the universe, then maybe you need to change whatever energy you're putting out into the universe. Maybe you believe in karma. Maybe you, your actions haven't, uh, giving you the best karma if you believe in karma whatever that whatever that looks like for you i want you to improve your spiritual relationship with yourself and with this world that's my first challenge to you now from that you can make that goal whatever you want the second goal i want you to make is a goal of physical fitness there's no way in hell no way in hell that you should be watching this video and you should be out of shape you should be in you should be watching this video after you just got done doing some work all right doing some type of stretch, or swim, or jog, some push-ups, some sit-ups, doesn't take much. Maybe you, you like to shoot the basketball, throw the football with your, with your son, your daughter, throw the baseball with your son, your daughter, ride a bike. I might go right, get me a bike today just because. Make physical fitness a part of your life. I need you to commit to at least three days of physical fitness, at least, at least. 30 to 60 minutes. I mean, that's that's 30 minutes if you're really going. 60 minutes if you you know you want to prolong it. Just commit. Just commit, man. You know it's gonna change your life. You, you know it's gonna make you sexier. You know it's gonna make you more confident. You know it's gonna keep you alive longer. Get back in the swimming pool. You used to swim in high school. Get back in the swimming pool. Come on now. Get on the bike. Rollerblade. There's so much to do. There's so much you can do. No excuses. If you're already in the gym, if you're already in the yoga yoga studio, you're already hooping, I'm asking you to do one more day. Add one more day. But do something else. Cross train and do something else. Maybe add. Maybe if you're a yoga person, add weightlifting. If you're a weightlifter, add yoga. Stretch. Maybe just go for a walk. That's physical fitness. Go for a 45 minute walk without your cell phone. That is physical fitness. That's actually gonna help you with your spiritual goal too, to reconnect to yourself and reconnect to nature. The third thing I want you to do is I want you to make a financial goal. And with this financial goal, I want you to have a freaking plan. And I want you to have a budget. A lot of people say, oh, I want to get rich. I, want to I have a friend who, he always says, if I could make $100,000 a year, I'll be good. No, you wouldn't be good. You wouldn't be good. And the reason you don't make $100,000 a year is because you spend every dollar you get. You have no savings. You've been in the workforce for almost 15 years, you have no savings. You have nothing to show. No house paid off, no car paid off, no student loans paid off. Been working for 15 years and you have nothing to show for it. That's because you haven't had the right behaviors. You haven't had the right, the right uh, energy to move towards a plan. You haven't had a plan. You're just going through life, buying ice creams and pizzas. I like pizzas. <laughs> I love pizza. I can't afford pizza right now. I can afford to go to the grocery store and buy my food and meal prep which actually helps me with my second goal or my physical fitness goal. You see how this is all connected? You see how this is all connected? See, when you understand abundance, you understand that everything is connected. So instead of going big, big, big picture here, I just gave you three micro things you can focus on. All right, I want you to focus on your finances, make a plan, figure out where you are. Maybe you need to invest more. Maybe you need to get out of debt. Maybe you need to increase your income. Maybe you need to decrease how much you spend per month, maybe you need to do all. Start this year, this month, this day, I don't know when you're watching this. I'm releasing it right before 2018, but I want you to start 
with the budget written budget I use mint.com it's a uh, it's an app that you can get on your iPhone I have it on my iPhone I have it on my computer I log in every day let me check let me see where I'm at with the budget you you give you like my boy Dave Ramsey he's a financial guru if you've never heard of Dave Ramsey look him up one thing he says is you got to control your money so when you get paid you tell the money where to go some of you guys are getting your money and then you just spend, spend, spend and then you're like, okay, where did my money go? You don't want to do it that way. You want to do it the other way around. You want to have your money uh, delegated. When it comes in, you, boom, it's already boom, 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 boom. Pay this, pay this, pay this, pay this debt, save this, save this. I got 80 bucks for the next two weeks for, you know, petty cash, do whatever I want to do with it. With your spiritual goal, you have to figure out what am I looking for? Am I looking for more inner peace, more understanding, more awareness? You have to figure it out. Work only one, one day at a time. And then lastly, uh, if you've never had a personal trainer, say you're new to the gym, I would say get a personal trainer and instead of just working out with them, I would, I would get knowledge from them. Hey, how do I build a workout? Tell me how to build a workout. You could probably find that stuff for free on YouTube. How do I build a workout? What should I do? Where do I start? Where do I begin working out? I mean, you could probably do that right now. Doing these three things is going to drastically improve your life. And I'm not talking theory. I've done this. I'm only talking about what I've done. I'm physically fit. My spiritual situation is perfect. It's perfect. I'm good. Do I have problems? Hell yeah. Because everybody does. But I have a spiritual armor that feels good right now. I can manage my problems when they come. I can manage my life when it comes. I don't have anxiety. I don't stress about my life. I'm pretty content and happy. My spiritual situation is good. My physical fitness situation is good. My financial situation is good because I have a budget and I stick to my budget. Having a budget is what helped me pay off my debt. I'm gonna leave you right there. Get out, make a plan, get active, keep loving, keep living, and I'll see you guys next time.